Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript and CSS tips and tricks tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to swap the columns, the HTML table columns dynamically, the mouse using the mouse with JavaScript and CSS styles. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output of our application. Swapping the table columns with mouse drag and drop. We have four columns and three rows. These are the rows and these are the columns. Notice when a mouse over on the table header, the mouse pointer is changing to movable. Now I'm swapping the column one to column three. Notice the column one is totally changed. Swap it to column three and column three is swap it to column one. Column two to column three column 3 to column 4 again and changing see and also the rows also is moving see the whole column is movable drag and drop it's a simple javascript code i have used for this video tutorial i'm using visual studio code first let's open our folder which is a javascript iphone tutorials and here it is our folder is added to the vs explorer let me expand this folder now inside this folder i will add one new html file called table columns the full columns i want to swap swap dot stm and here we got the newly created html file is open let me minimize this vs explorer as well as i'm closing this welcome page now let's write the coding part first let's add the doc type doc type i'm closing the html elements Inside the HTML element, I'm adding the header section. Below the header section, I'm adding the body tag. Now, inside the body, I'm adding one center tag. I want to display the output at the center of the browser. So, I'm adding the center and the heading I'm adding. Swapping the table columns, table columns with mouse, with the mouse uh, drag and drop, with mouse drag and drop draw horizontal line here i'm using the coding javascript and css style so first i'm adding one table table this table contains an id called my table my table and t head table head tr <coughs> tr table headers this table headers I'm adding the column one. Column one. Now draggable is true and on on drag start on drag start is equals to drag event. I'm adding drag event. That's it. Now let's copy this one. We request some more table column headers three three and four for this demo purpose i'm adding four columns in this table we got four columns now we require the uh, table columns and table rows we require t body t body table row table data one let's copy this one two um, three four we have four columns uh, four columns so we require four rows uh, four uh, let's copy this one yep we have four rows and uh, three rows three rows and four columns we have now we require the javascript functionality after the center tag i'm adding script script oh, uh, go to top variable drag variable drag column is equals to null function handle drag start 
drag it start e <coughs> drag column is equal to this now for that e dot data transfer data transfer i need to allow data transfer effect allowed is equals to move you want to move e dot data transfer dot set data the set data is a function x forward slash html this dot outer html the dragging start of the html uh, text next function f is small f small f function handle uh, handle drag over drag over is e prevent if e dot prevent prevent default e dot prevent default e dot prevent default method again drag over and drag uh, uh, drag over we need to transfer that one first we need to transfer the drop uh, drop effect is equals to move now return false return false return false drag over and dra uh, drop function handle drop drop e if e dot stop propagation propagation dot stop propagation e dot stop propagation function function now if if drag column is not equals to this then variable source index that's different one variable source index array from method is this is a method from drag column from drag column dot parent node and child also we require parent node dot children children index of index of this index of this dot index of index of which index require the drag column so drag column that column variable another target index also source index and target index after we moving that uh, column array dot from this dot the particular selected column parent node dot children dot index of this index of this index of this now define one variable for table in this table we have the document document that get element by id how we get the table based on the table id so this id we require copy that one come to the bottom paste here variable in the table we have a rows Rows table dot rows for loop for variable i is equals to zero. The length of the rows are required. So i is less than row rows dot length length i plus plus i plus plus. Now we require the cells of the source index as well as the target index. So here I'm defining one variable source of the cell. I want to move the 
full column with the cells. So rows, which is I, I, rows we are getting from this variable I. From this rows, I am adding cells. Source index, source index. And the same thing we require the target index also. For that, I am adding target cell. Target cell is equals to, let's copy this one and stop adding the same thing. Copy this one. Cell side and this one target index target index then variable temp html temp html is equals to i'm putting these cells for a temporary inner html and also uh, source cell source cell dot dot inner html is equals to target cell target cell dot inner html inner html then uh, then target then what we require here this target set this result I need to say uh, put in this temp html so target cell dot inner html and swapping here cells into temp html and this one return false return false and here variable columns is equals to document document dot query selector all query selector all of the table headers table headers table headers now here array dot for each cell for each call for each call columns of function column column and defining a variable let's close this one this function column dot add event listener add event listener add event listener drag start this is a drag start uh, now we need to handle drag drag stop these functions we need to uh, add here handle drag start false column dot add event listener next thing what we have drag start drag over handle drag over so let's define one drag over drag over handle drag over false now the final step column dot add event listener dragging start over and we need to drop so uh, drop drop the drop we require handle drop handle drop is a function name false that's it we have three functions drag start drag over and drop, mm, drop. these are the function names i have set to false drag over drag, handle drop and drag stop now we need to uh, JavaScript we have finished now we need quite some style here style uh, first style I'm adding to the table and table element I'm adding border border collapse 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 table header and table data also I require here border one pixel solid and black color i'm adding and padding is around eight pixels i'm adding roughly these ones texture and center of the 
table table header so i'm adding the background color of the table header so background i'm adding linear multiple colors from right from right to right first i'm adding tomato white and tomato these are the background color of the table headers and the text color i'm adding black black and black that's it i'm not adding much styles let's save this file we'll check the final output of our application save the file let's open file explorer the folder i have created in the e drive the folder name is the javascript iphone tutorials and the file name is the table columns tab let's open that one and here we got the final output of our application this is output it looks swapping the table columns with mouse drag and drop notice we have four column four columns and three rows four columns and three rows and if i mouse over i need to change the symbol of the cursor so so let's change that one. cursor move so now we change the cursor also now we'll check the final output of our application again i'm reloading the browser now let's check the final output of our application swapping the table columns with mouse drag and drop we have four columns and three rows these are the rows and these are the columns notice when i mouse over on the table header the mouse pointer is changing to movable now i'm swapping the column one to column three notice the column one is totally changed swap it to column three and column three is swap it to column one column 2 to column 3 column 3 to column 4 again I'm changing see and also the rows also is moving see the whole column is movable drag and drop it is simple JavaScript code I have used thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial